In this video, I return to using the hot knife to see how much I can turn up the heat and how fast I can sculpt foam, ramping up the speed every time. Let's turn up the heat. G'day everyone, I'm Jazza, and it's the return of the hot knife. Now, the last time I actually used this in a big video, I was making the giant foam art supplier things that were gonna be a prop in the background of my set. That was a couple of years ago. It never happened. That is not because I didn't want something to happen. I actually paid a lot of money to mail them to a collaborator to help work on them. And it's been enough time now that I can probably safely assume that collaboration may never happen. I tried to reach out to them, never got a response. So unfortunately, no foam background art props, not my fault. But the foam hot knife thing was really fun and I got a lot of carving done quickly. Now I love sculpture. I love clay sculpture, I love stone sculpture, wood sculpture, glue sculpture. And my favorite sculpting medium is monster clay. One of the reasons it's one of my favorites is because you can microwave it into a liquid form and it's really fast to work with and also really satisfying to carve as it sort of hardens. There's something tactile about a three dimensional sculpture and the hot knife and foam is the fastest sculpting medium I've ever used. And I just can't help but wonder how fast I can sculpt with my foam knife. So I'm gonna start off with, I think half an hour. I think half an hour is a good amount of time to do something decent. So with 30 minutes on the clock, mask on, goggles on, and the timer starts now. As soon as I pull the trigger on this thing, just watch the smoke, you ready? So if I block the fan, look at that. Awful. At least it's well ventilated because it is blowing straight out. Oh my God, it's like butter. Oh, it's very windy. <laughs> so I'm thinking of doing like the thinker pose, like, like one of them. I'm trying to block out the rough sculpture shape. And I have to be careful to not take off too much because this thing works so fast. I don't trust myself not just going ham on this thing. The other thing too is as I melt, it takes away more than where I place it. So it's not particularly accurate. I've got some of the basic blocking in place. Now this is the fastest heat knife and this is the one that you can reshape it. So if I want to curve the edges, I'll create this so I can have a bit of a curve. All right, let's plug back in. Oh man, it doesn't get the neatest lines, does it? Oh, I feel like I've not got a lot of ability to be very refined here. This would have been a challenge without a freaking timer. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think my shaped tool is helping me at all. <laughs> I'm going to unplug this thing and I'm just going to go back to the knife. Just have so much more accuracy with it. <laughs> Use the force, Luke. How long have I got? I'm halfway through. So I've just got to focus on finishing the blocking because then I can do that to finish off my artwork. Oh my God, it gets so hard to work with. Ugh. It starts off so easy, but as soon as you want to refine and be subtle, you can't. Why am I acting like that's a surprising thing? It, it, it's not a surprise at all. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Now I wish I had my scoopy one, but I took it out. Instead of just like do an eyeball. Oh no, that's not good at all. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a finishing touch. All right, I'm gonna level with you. This is awful. <laughs> In fact, it looks like the meme of like the dude who's like, tell me again how you thought you could sculpt organic shapes with foam. I mean, at least it's fitting that I accidentally sculpted something mocking my sculpting. Do you know the thing that's hardest is like, okay, the raw foam is so like, easy to cl cleanly cut through, but as soon as you start melting down to try and create organic shapes, because I'm not cutting away the material, I'm melting it and condensing it, it's sort of like melted sugar. It goes like caramelly and hard and like sharp and dense. So I'm gonna accept that 
my half an hour sculpture with a hot knife is terrible. That does not mean that I can't do something good, even with less time. Because in reality, it was the refining process that made this harder to work with and just wasn't getting the outcome that is gonna work well with this sort of medium. All right, 15 minutes on the clock. Let's make something cool. Uh, I'm gonna have to swap the blade. Although to be honest, I'm only at half time. I, I'm probably gonna finish early. Because I feel like this is the last thing I wanna do. It's gonna scoop out the eyeballs, you ready? I mean, I've five minutes left, but I'm done. Okay, so here's the thing. This is way cooler than the one I did with half an hour. And this took me 10 minutes. I mean, that's all right. It's a lot better than this. <laughs> and it looks like it would have taken longer and more skill. I don't know, you let me know. Maybe this is the winner. Maybe this one's really good. The interesting thing is, usually where time gets shorter in these challenges and it's less good, this is one of those rare mediums where being quicker is better, which has me very curious is how this is going to turn out. Let me just clean up the edges quickly. Now this is going to get intense because we only have five minutes. I brought Jeremy in to help uh, capture the action. So what can we do that's cool? It's also, you know, very flat. So as far as sculptures go, it's really going to be just about silhouette and shape. Let me get a pen this time. We're actually gonna plan this one out. It's, uh, look, it's tricky, isn't it? To sort of get shape and depth. How do we do that? Oh, we could do something that works with this. You could, like mount this in, and then it would actually probably look pretty cool. Let's start off with that. So that can be where this embeds. What if this was like a shield? Like it won't look like a shield. It'll look more like a, like some sort of wall mount thing, but I feel like that already looks pretty cool. So if I give it a border, I could have a pretty sharp outline and just do internal patterns. And then I've just got to figure out the patterns around it. Can't go wrong with spikes. I have no idea what I'm doing. They're just sort of like shapes. <laughs> that to me, that, that seems pretty cool. Let's give it a go. We've got five minutes on the clock to make that look cool. Okay, so if the question of the activity of this video is how fast can you sculpt foam with a hot knife? I think the answer is not in five minutes. <laughs> I think this still works with the concept and the challenge. We'll extend it by another five minutes. The 10 minute one. I'll pretend I was always gonna finish with 10 minutes because I did the last one in 10 minutes. Just make it make sense in your head and click like. I'm gonna create a little bit more, what's the word, uh, undulation uh, and texture. Texture, texture. I am gonna use this to do the final shaping. Final sculpture challenge, part two. Five minutes on the clock and the time starts now. It's too deep, it's too deep. Uh, oh no! Ah! 
Ah, oh, it's almost cool, maybe, but no. And I didn't get the. And I'm gonna finish this last little bit off. Okay, I just had to do that. I just had to fix that little last, uh, that little nook there. So at least we have the depth. I think the answer is you can't really sculpt anything substantial in less than 10 minutes. But I sculpted two things pretty substantial in pretty much a total of 20 minutes. I mean, it's pretty cool, guys. I think it could be a lot cooler with a little post-sculpture love. In fact, I'm going to make a deal with you. If this video gets over 100,000 likes, I'm going to turn this into an epic piece. Using this as a foundation, I promise I'll blow your minds. If this video gets over 250,000 likes, I will use the hot knife over the course of a week to sculpt a block of foam bigger than me twice over. That's a pretty substantial promise. So what do you have to lose in clicking like? And of course, if you want to see that madness, make sure to subscribe because it's going to get crazy in here. <laughs> Hang around for more of the crazy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> But most of the time, we make it work even if it refuses to. Subscribe, notification. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I had a blast. I hope you did too. Bye, video over tag card end card. Bye. I'm a professional. Ah.